A man shot in the face by his girlfriend's ex is talking only to Wave 3. Good evening, everybody. I'm Connie Leonard. Scott is off tonight. The man who only wants to be known as Daniel was shot in Mount Washington late Saturday night. He survived after the shooter, Nathan Gabbard, killed himself. Tonight, Daniel is sharing his story about the terrifying encounter exclusively with Wave 3's Scott Atkins. He wanted to clarify a few details. Law enforcement all along said the two men got into a fight or altercation. Not the case, says the man shot in the face. Instead, he says 45 minutes passed. He tried to talk some sense into the shooter. And for the first time, he's opening up about the moments before a bullet severed part of his face. He was hurting. Grasping a Bible and holding on to hope. Every word that he says is true and genuine. The man who was shot in the face just a few days ago. I couldn't change his mind. Forgives the shooter who left a mark on his life. I feel sorry for him for what thoughts was going through his mind to make him think that he had to live that way. Daniel, who doesn't want his full name broadcast, sat down with us to tell us the inside story about the night 25-year-old Nathan Gabbard opened fire on him, a young woman, and child. It was like dealing with three different people. One minute he would be fine, the next minute he would be upset. Uh, next minute, um, kind of shook up. Daniel tried to calm down Nathan Gabbard, who arrived at this Mount Washington apartment complex angry with an ex-girlfriend. Daniel says he just started seeing the woman. Gabbard apparently didn't like that. After he put the pistol down, uh, we began to talk and I ended up explaining to him about Jesus Christ. 45 minutes passed and then. When he got out of the car this time, he, uh, he mocked me and he mocked Jesus Christ and told me to pray. Told me to start praying as he pointed the pistol nine millimeter in my face. And I looked at him and I said, brother, I'm all prayed up. And he shot me um, right in the face. Police say Gabbard ran up the stairs to the apartment, shot the door in, and held the young woman at gunpoint. I was not scared, none whatsoever, but I heard gunshots go off in the apartment complex. Investigators say Gabbard confronted the woman, the child, there during it all. A witness says Gabbard then turned the gun on himself. Daniel knows there are a lot of families hurting right now and wants the gunman's parents and siblings to know this. You don't have to ask for my forgiveness when it happened. I forgave you already. Because I tried. And the hardest thing for me was to forgive myself because I felt like I lost. Scott Atkins, Wave 3 News.